Hey guys, it's Maddie. Since moving back to Texas, I've had a hard time using the same products that I got in Korea on my skin because they're just not as easily accessible as they were back there. Now there are some online websites where I can buy the products I really like, but oftentimes the shipping's outrageous or, you know, uh, it takes forever to get here or they just don't have exactly what I want. So I have been brave and I've been trying to find new products that my skin will tolerate to help, you know, survive this desolately parched winter weather. My skin type is super sensitive, super dry. So I have to use stuff that's gentle and extremely hydrating in order to keep my skin, you know, pacified. Some of the things I'm still using, I've been lucky enough to find in stores near me. Like Ulta carries a few Asian brands now and I even have a little Korean district near my house that has a face shop in God bless, face shop, I love you. You are so good to my skin. But in this video, I'll walk you through my normal skincare routine and share with you the new products that I've been testing out. Because my skin is so sensitive, something I've had a really hard time finding is good eye makeup remover. The Korean product I really love is the Milk Point Makeup Remover by Skin Food, but something I noticed is that I burn through it really fast because it's kind of watery texture and I end up pouring too much out. And because it's not that easy for me to get my hands on now, it's not really worth the value of burning through it too quickly and having to replace it that often. So I tried a bunch of different stuff out and I kept getting this really red rashy stuff around my eyes because my skin was just so irritated. And then, it occurred to me, I'll just use olive oil. And I've always known olive oil is a great makeup remover and I've used it in a pinch a few times before, but then I was like, well, why don't I just use it every day? So I keep this little dispenser next to my vanity for at night when I take off my makeup. And guess what? Korean skincare encourages a two-step cleansing process with oil cleansing and then a face wash. Guess what? This is oil. It's cleansing. It's really gentle, it's hydrating, obviously, and the oil molecules are too large for them to get into your pores and clog them up. So if you're worried about getting acne from putting oil on your skin, don't worry about that. In the same theme of olive oil, I still use my Face Shop Real Blend Rich Cream Soap Creme de Savon Riche in olive oil. I've mentioned this product before. This is my favorite cleanser. I haven't been brave enough to adventure out and try a different cleanser yet because this is just so perfect for my skin. It's like a creamy lather so it does, it's not foamy, it's not dehydrating and I really love this for my dry skin. Next up onto toner. You've heard of it from a billion other YouTubers and now you're hearing it from me. This is the Claire's Supple Preparation Facial Toner. I really struggled with finding a toner that I like. I tried a few other toners and they really made me break out a lot and I was not happy and so I did a bunch of research and it seems like everyone and their dog are loving the crap out of this Claire's brand with their toner. And I gotta say, I'm on that hype train, I love it. It's great for my sensitive skin, it's gentle and it tones, you know, it does what toners do. Toners are one of those things that people question their purpose in skincare and essentially a toner is great to do after you cleanse because you're putting good oils and things back on your skin that you might have stripped off when you cleansed it and it's preparing your skin to have moisturizer on it because if you don't then your skin is taut and whatever moisturizer or creams you put on top will just stay there and they won't absorb into the skin. Toner is an essential bridge in between cleansing and moisturizing. My moisturizer has probably been the most difficult product to replace, not because of having bad reactions to moisturizer, but it's because I can't find a single product that is as good as my old moisturizer. I kept the empty jar because I just can't let it go yet, but this is the Royal Honey Propolis Shield cream by Skin Food. I love this moisturizer. It's definitely my holy grail. It was the best moisturizer I had for my skin. And I'm all out and it's hard to get now so I've been trying to branch out and get, you know, some alternatives. But for some reason I have three moisturizers now because it takes three to do the job 
that this one moisturizer was doing. Ulta has started carrying some skin food stuff, but they don't carry this specific thing. I really wish. They have a few other of the Royal Honey products, and I really, really, really want them to start carrying this one, but no such luck. They only have a very small section in Ulta that has uh, Korean skincare, and some of that is skin food. But from that section, I did grab this big tub of aloe vera soothing gel. And aloe vera, you might know, is best for sunburns, but it's also great for just hydrating your skin. So most nights after cleansing and toning, I might use this aloe vera gel on my face. It is really sticky, so you have to let it sit for a while. If you lay down on your pillow immediately after using it, you're gonna have like gunk all over your pillow. You have to let it absorb into the skin a little bit. On nights that my skin is feeling really dehydrated, I use this Medicine Mama's Sweet Bee Magic All-in-One Healing Skin Cream. This stuff is like a balm texture. It's solid at room temperature, but when you touch it, it kind of liquefies and melts down. And this is like a nighttime mask because when I use it, my face is like really greasy and it doesn't absorb quickly. Even in the next morning when I wake up, my skin will still feel very moisturized and whenever I wash it, it's like really slimy. This stuff is great because you can use it not only on your face but everywhere on your body. So I use it on my arms and my legs, almost as just like a full body lotion occasionally, not every day. However, in the mornings, whenever I wake up and I do my skincare routine, this is the product that I put on my face as my main moisturizer. It is the White Tea Brightening Cream by Tony Moly. I also have a Tony Moly store near my house. Very lucky, I know. But this stuff is really light and it's so pretty. It's so light. But this stuff is really light and not super hydrating, just enough for what I need for the day. Um, if I'm in a rush, I'll only use this. If I've got some time, I'll use this and a little bit of this in the mornings. I'm telling you, you guys, the winter is my worst enemy. Just like sucks all the moisture out of my skin. The last thing is a little pro tip I picked up from living in Korea. It's not a skincare product, it is a skincare and overall, overall health and well-being device. A humidifier. Every night I sleep with my humidifier on in my bedroom because if I don't I wake up and my nose is a desert and my skin just feels like, you know, cardboard. That was something I really appreciated in Korean culture. I would notice, even like at work, my Korean co-teachers, they'd be sitting at their desk with a water bottle that had a little device that went into it with a tube, and it was a little desk humidifier. I mean, how genius, that's great. In Texas, we get really humid summers, but in the winter, for some reason, it's just like a desert. It's so dry. My nose hurts and my skin hurts because I just can't win. As a bonus, I thought it was worth mentioning that I've been able to solve a lot of my body acne problems with like on my chest and on my upper back. I thought it was mostly just like sweat and you know I needed to exfoliate more, but then I realized something. It was my shampoo. I'm sure you've heard of like sulfate free shampoo. Guess what? It works. It's a real thing. I switched over to this Hask brand where all of their products are free of sulfates and parabens and I mean it was very clear to me very quickly that this was way better for my hair and my skin than all the other cheap shampoo I was using before. Hi kitten. Are you gonna join me? Come here. What'd you get into? Why are you so dusty? Do you see him right here? You just asked to come in here and interrupt my filming. He hears me talking in here and he has to come and see what I'm doing. Okay. Mm. So that's it for this video. I hope this was insightful for you and maybe you've got a few ideas of new products that you might want to try out. And I'll put the list of the products in the description box below so you can find the details for those things. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. I never use Snapchat, you guys. I'm sorry, I really dropped the ball on that one. But it's like, why do you have so many social media things, you know? Like, just one. I don't need to have a Snapchat story, an Instagram story, and a Facebook story. Like, how many tidbits of my life do you need to see every day? Do you need to see every single thing I ate and like every leaf I stepped on on the sidewalk? 
Make sure to follow me on Instagram because I definitely post there way more often than anywhere else. And I hope everyone's having a very happy holiday season. I'm feeling way more into the spirit than I ever have been in the past years. I'm like, you know, I bought this Christmas shirt and braids and my beret. I borrowed from my dad's closet. Very cute, very festive this year. Thank you guys so much for blah, 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 blah. thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Mwah.